السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we'll continue إن شاء الله with the, the IB paper 2 uh, questions uh, topic 2 mechanics we've reached question number 4 so let's start question number 4 says you have a chicken egg the mass of this chicken egg is 58 gram to convert from gram to kilogram always use SI unit all the units should be consistent so here we usually use SI units so divided by thousand or it will be point or fifty eight kilogram or fifty eight times ten to the power negative three is it dropped so we have the egg is it dropped this is a free fall from a height so you have the height 1.1 meter the egg come to rest in time so here you have delta t this one millisecond milli it means times 10 to the power negative 3 second assume that a resistance is negligible and the egg does not bounce or break Determine the magnitude of the average acceleration of the average deaccelerating force that the ground exerts on the egg. Now, what are the forces acting? If, if, I, if I assume that I don't have air resistance, it will be the weight of the egg. And that will equal mass times gravity the egg is accelerating down so the direction of the acceleration is downward i need to find the magnitude of this force i have two types of force the acceleration force downward in the same direction as the direction of the acceleration plus the gravity plus the gravity so I'm going to use this question. How I'm going to solve this question, I have two ways to do it. First method, I can use the conservation of energy. So I can say initial energy, initial energy equal final energy. Initial energy at the maximum height, the, what, what is the type of energy is gravitational, potential energy. So why? Because it's I have height, and this gravitational potential energy will be decreasing just before it hits the ground. It will turn to zero, and it will convert it to what to kinetic energy. Gravitational potential energy it's m g h equal kinetic energy half m v square. I can cancel m from both sides. Okay, g it's I can use ten or nine point. 8 so for simplicity I can use 10 times h 1.1 equal half v square cross multiplication and find v so v will equal square root I need v I have v square so take square root with both side so it will be 2 times 10 times 1.1 and this will give me 4.7 meter per second now I can find the acceleration. Acceleration will equal change in velocity divided by change in time. I start initial velocity zero, and then it will start to accelerate till it reaches the maximum velocity 4.7. So the change in velocity 4.7. It time is 55 millisecond. So 55 times 10 to the power negative three. <coughs> And this will give you 85 meter per second square. Now we can continue here. I need to find the accelerating force downward. So from a Newton second law, this will equal mass times the acceleration. Mass is point O 58. Acceleration is 85, and this should give you 
4.9 newton we said i have two forces down so resultant force or a total force i have the acceleration force plus the weight of uh, this egg so acceleration force it will be 4.9 plus how can i find the weight is mass times gravity so mass is point or 58 times 10 and this will give you around 5.48 in newton or five and a half five and a half newton okay this is the first the first method or the first way to solve this question Another way to do this question using the conservation of momentum. So I need force using the conservation of momentum. Force is change in momentum divided by change in time. And this will equal m change in velocity divided by change in time. We calculate this one. Mass you have it is 0 0.058. Velocity is 4.7 minus zero, final minus initial, divided by 0 0.055. And this will give you 4.9 Newton. And then you find the same thing, the total force, this value, plus the gravity, the gravitational force, which is mass times acceleration. You should get the same value or the same answer. Now, <clears throat> part B of the question, Explain why the X is likely to break when dropped into a concrete, concrete form from the same height. This is related to the momentum. We know from the uh, Newton second law, force equal change in momentum divided by change in time. So, force imparted on a moving object when it strikes some surface will be very large if the impact is instantaneous and much less if the impact involves some time duration. So, if I have the impact time is really, slow, is really short, the imparted force on the egg will be what? will be huge so the egg will break if it fall on the concrete but it will it won't be hurt it will it might nothing happen to it if the same egg fall on on a soft material like mattress for example from the same height why because the change on the momentum imparted on the egg instead of happening instantaneously it will be delivered over the entire duration on the egg's contact with the matrix, with the mattress. <clears throat> so the egg will break because the time is instantaneous. Time is really short. The force on the egg will be high, uh, so the egg will be break. This is the case of the concrete. Okay. Question five. Question five is a definition. Define the impulse. We know what is the impulse. The impulse is change in momentum is force times time, which equal a change in momentum. Now you have the same egg, okay? I want you to show that the kinetic energy of the egg just before the impact is equal to 0.6 joule. Now the egg is falling, it's free fall. So initial energy, if I use the conservation of energy, will equal the final energy. Initial energy, its gravitational potential energy, mgh, will equal the kinetic energy. I need to prove the kinetic energy equal 0.6. So let's calculate mass of the egg. It's 0 0.058 kilogram times the gravity is 9.8, or can, we can assume 10. Okay, times the height, 1.1. This will give me the kinetic energy. So if I calculate this number, the kinetic energy will be 0 0.600 
38 joule, which is 0.6 joule. Okay. Next uh, uh, video, inshallah, we'll solve question B.